All right, welcome to CAD Ease Tutorials on Revit Architecture 2012. Uh, a question came up on the website the other day about doing phasing and showing demo uh, demolition plans as opposed to new construction as opposed to existing construction. So I'm going to run through that real fast. Um, in Revit, it's called phasing. So if you open up a default template, I'm on my level one here. You notice you got this little phasing um, section underneath your properties. And right now the phase is set to new construction because that's pretty much you know what Revit's about for the most part default. So say I do some walls here. I'm just going to show you this real quick. I click these walls. Phase created is new construction. Those are all new walls. So how do we get an existing plan? Well, before we do the existing plan, I know I'm going to want a, de a demolition plan. So what I'm going to do real fast if I go to the manage tab. Here's my phasing panel. If I hit phases, you can see I've got existing and new. Well, my order is, you know, first one's past, this is featured down here, these go in order of construction. So obviously demolition is going to be between existing and new construction. So since existing is highlighted, I want this to be after it. And let's just type in demolition. Hit OK. So now I've got three phases. And if you come down here, you'll notice and now I have three phases. There's my demolition phase. Well on this first floor level I want this to be existing instead of new construction. So now when I draw a wall and the reason I drew the walls earlier I'm just going to change the wall type here just to go to an exterior wall. So now when I draw these walls since I was already on the existing this, this actual plan is set to existing phase created existing, any wall I draw on this plan is going to be an existing wall automatically. So let's just go ahead and throw a couple walls in here. And this is going to be arbitrary, I'm not really designing anything right now. Let's kind of do this. Um, here. Also want to put a couple of doors in. Um, and again, this is nothing special. I'm just kind of trying to make it look halfway decent for you guys. And we'll even throw some windows in. Just for the heck of it. So this is our existing building that somebody built. And we want to renovate. And also when you're doing an existing building, I mean I wouldn't really take shortcuts. Go ahead and design it like it's designed. It says Revit, it's BIM. You know, don't just draw a quick wall. If you know that it's a brick wall and metal stud, go ahead and take the extra half a second to create that wall type. Um, just be easier for scheduling later. So that being said, if you notice all these doors phase created existing. You know, all these interior walls phase created existing is right there. Because I set this view template to existing or I'm not template but this view to existing before I started. I could always come in here and manually, you know, pick a door and change it to you know new construction let's say which it's going to disappear because under existing new construction is not there yet so that's what phasing is all about but I just wanted to show you that after you draw something you can still move it and change it okay so we got the existing plan done now I want to start demolishing some walls so what we're going to do is we're going to take our existing plan and we're going to duplicate it with detailing if you have any, you know, text and dimensions you want, you want, or you can just straight up duplicate it without de detailing, and it'll just bring the geometry in without any annotation. Um, so this is an exact duplicate. I'm going to call this demolition. And then, what do you think we're going to do? I'm going to take this phase and set it to demolition. And you'll notice what happened as soon as I set it to demolition. Everything that's existing got um, grayscale. That's because of my phase filters on show all. If I hit show complete, it's going to come back to 
dark black lines. Um, these are default phase filters. You can set your own phase filters up. You've got numerous phase filters here. Go ahead and play around with them, see what each one of them does. I usually put it on show all. You like It's kind of easier to work to see what's existing and what's not. Okay, so how do I demolish these walls? Well, if you notice back on this manage tab when we had our phasing panel with the phases right there, you've got this little hammer, little Thor looking hammer. That's what demolishes your walls. You select that and notice I'm not going to touch this door. I'm just going to demolish this wall. Well, the door gets demolished as well because Revit knows you have to have a wall to have a door. The wall's gone, the door's got to go too. So, say we demolish this. Um, here's a good example. I've got a solid wall here. I only want to demolish this half. I want to leave that half. So what do I do? I can come over here to my split tool. No, that's trim. There's split. And I can split this wall, and then I can trim it out correctly. Now I've got two separate walls. So now I can come back to my demolish tool, demolish that door and that wall. And just to show you that I can do this, I'm going to go ahead and demolish that window, and that window, and that window, just for the heck of it. Now you can see that those windows are clearly demolished. That's clearly demolished. I mean, there's no mistake in it. And there's your demolish plan. Now you want to start new construction. So again, you can duplicate view. I'll just duplicate with detailing. We're going to rename this to new construction. Oops. No. And of course, we're going to come here and set this to new construction. Now watch what happens to my demolish stuff. It disappears. Revit knows that under new construction anything that's demolished is disappearing. It's going to be gone. By the time I start this new construction all this stuff will be gone because it's demolished. Um, if you notice when I click on demolish just to show you a few things. This right here, phase demolished, demolition. I had already set this view up as demolition view. Um, the view itself, now I'm in the view properties, see the phase is demolition and that's when I demolished it. Now if I was to come over here in my existing phase, which is right here, and demolish, I can still demolish out of this phase, except this time you'll notice it's gone in this phase and I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to click on the wall that I demolished in the demolition phase and it says phase demolished demolition, which is correct. If I come over here and click on this wall, it's going to say phase demolished existing, which is wrong. You don't demolish in the existing phase, you demolish in the demolition phase. So I can very easily come here. I mean, I just wanted to show you that you can demolish in any view you want to. Just make sure that you come here and phase demolish, but down the correct phase. Now it's demolished on the demolition phase. And of course, since everything was already demolished, you have to actually choose the other doors. It's not going to do it automatically. Now existing stays as existing and demolition stays as demolition. Um, and I can go ahead and take that back to none. Now if I hit none, then guess what? It's not demolished anymore. Say the client decided to keep it. Well, you just select it and hit none and it's right back where it was. So it's that simple. So you just go ahead and start your normal project, set the view itself to existing, which I did right there, draw all your geometry you have to in that view, duplicate it, which would be to this view, set the view itself to demolish, remember we had to create that demolish phase, set it to demolish, use your little hammer, start demolishing everything you need to demolish, you can duplicate it and set this view here to new construction of course since this is new construction if I was to now come in here and draw some walls say I wanted some crazy you know and there you go there's our new plan and you can see that existing in this particular phase filter, which is show all, existing is grayscale or halftone, and anything new, including doors and windows, 
It's going to come in as normal darker lines. Um, just a window in here just to show you. So you can see that's um, that's how you do your phasing. Now, if you wanted this to be your final plan, but you didn't want the grayscale, you didn't want that contrast, you just wanted to show them complete everything that the new plan is. If you just go to show complete, this filter again is set up to not gray this out. So there it is. There's your complete plan. And it's just that simple. Uh, how you change it, if you go back to this phases, you also have your phase filters and your graphic overrides. So it's telling the phase status existing, demolished, new, temporary, and that's the uh, patterns for your overrides and that's how these phase filters work. And then you get your phase filters and it tells you how to override it. You just set all that up. Um, and that's basically how you do phasing in Revit. Now just like anything else in Revit Phasing can be very complicated, can be very easy, just depends on what you're doing with it. You can add a lot of phases and really do a lot of things with it. This is just a basic overview. Um, you can also schedule, you know, if you want to schedule all your demolished walls to see if there's any lumber you can salvage or salvage these doors and windows, you can schedule just the stuff that was demolished and create a schedule of that. Now, another thing you can do, if you come over here, to your discipline, there's a phase right here. So if you'll notice, I've got demolished, level one, new construction, they're all first floors. If you have a bunch of levels, that can be kind of confusing. If you come over here to phase, well now you've got your existing phase floor plans, you've got your demolition floor plans, and your new construction plans. So that kind of splits it up into phase so you can easily track it. So that's basically phasing in a nutshell. Um, hope you learned how to phase and uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks.